Campaigns are about charisma, confidence, and clout. But none of that matters without lots of cash. What the candidates bring in and how they're using it says a lot about them and their supporters. From Bernie Sanders, whose millions of grassroots donations average $18, to the bottomless pockets of Michael Bloomberg. This field represents the biggest departure from the classic fundraising model U.S. politics has ever seen. Money means momentum, and momentum in turn means money, and you need both to stay in the race. A well-funded campaign can flood the airwaves and hit the streets with an effective, organized ground game. And each person you reach is a potential source of cash. So, will Bloomberg's half billion dollars be enough to sway the average voter? Will Sanders' micro-donors add up to the nomination? And can Biden, Warren, and the others find enough support on Super Tuesday to keep Keep their campaigns afloat because donors big and small bet on a winner and losers will be the first to drop out as the cash dries up. And that's exactly what we saw in the case of Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klomashar. They were running out of cash. That was part of their decision in terms of leaving the race. Joe Biden, we know since that big win in South Carolina, he's been pulling in $5 million a day, which is really helpful as he looks to this next phase of the campaign. But when we talk about money, mm -hmm. Lindsay, we have to talk more about Michael Bloomberg. As we were mentioning a few minutes ago, an unprecedented effect mm -hmm. in American presidential campaigning, more than $500 million in counting mm -hmm. for ads, for organization, offices mm -hmm. and staffers, and also an incredible amount of money spent hiring influencers on social media. Mm -hmm. And we have no idea how it's all going to play out. No, you know, a lot of that social media influencers, it was Mike Bloomberg um, almost making it look like a joke, trying to take the memes and yes. really appeal to those younger voters. And the other thing to look at when it comes to Bloomberg spending is where he is choosing to put a lot of that cash because in some of the Super Tuesday states that we're seeing today, Oklahoma, Arkansas, uh, those are places where the campaigns that maybe don't have those vast millions haven't been able to spend a whole lot of time and a whole lot of cash. But by plastering those areas with those advertisements from Bloomberg that have become uh, ubiquitous, then what Bloomberg is doing is really blanking, banking on those lesser delegate states to perhaps be the place where he can get what he needs in order to remain in this race. So in many ways, a strategy that we've never seen play out in politics before. And then look at the argument against Sanders. Sanders is going against the billionaires. So this is about money in politics. It's about the larger themes of a, a grassroots democracy versus a, a class of people who have a whole lot of cash, including the president of the United States right now. And so we're seeing that social rift play out in how money is being spent. And it's so interesting because Bloomberg has promised that if he doesn't get the nomination, he will fund whoever does to take on Donald Trump. Trump and Sanders says, I don't want your money. Yeah, well, it's interesting, too, because Bloomberg has done that, and that the loyalty that Bloomberg has from some of the supporters that we've seen, particularly not far from here in Virginia, where he has funded not just individual campaigns at the state level, but also a, a lot of philanthropy related to causes that Democrats really care about, yes. especially gun, gun control. control. That, that certainly shows where his heart is at and how it would govern, but it also is a way to purchase loyalty. Mm -hmm. And it's a way to get people on side with Mike Bloomberg and line up with his campaign. Will it work? Will it be enough to take on the establishment in a way we haven't seen to before? We'll get a sense of that we today. Will. And there's no doubt money sort of permeates so yeah. many of the angles we're going to be talking about today. Yeah.